Hey, it's Joe and Lisa with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. We're here today to give you something free. We're going to talk about free. We are free here in Ecuador, probably more than any other country we can think of. But we're going to talk about what we're going to give you for free today, which is... We have a few recipes, so I collect them on what I call Living Document, but it is a website because a lot of people ask for recipes. So today we're going to give you a tour through that website, show you how to use it, and show you where my favorite recipes are. And at the end, we'll give you the, uh, the absolutely the, the URL for that, and, uh, and we'll also be able to show you how you can email your favorite recipe to Lisa. Okay, so here's the website. This is what you see when you first come in. There's recipes, so I have a drop-down menu where you can easily go to the different topics. And then I also have natural remedies, which will take you to a page where I collect all my little remedies. So the first page, um, I kind of categorized it between veggies, main dishes, soups and salads, etc. So each one of these pictures you can actually click on and it'll take you to the recipe. So this is a free website, so it's limited in what you can do with it, but it works pretty good for what I need it to do. Um, I tend to do what um, is called healthy keto, so it's a lot more vegetables than necessarily carnivore. Um, so I like treats, and for me these are little bacon wrap treats, but you're still getting the asparagus. So you can scroll through these at any point. You can come back and go straight up to the top, and it'll bring you back up, and you can scroll back through. There um, are more recipes than pictures uh, because I did kind of run out of room. But just to give you some ideas, we have bread. Bread is a, a nice thing to be able to create. And so there's a simple recipe down here for um, really simple bread and everybody seems to like it so there's that bread recipe simple pancake recipe etc so but you can always go around spice blends is another one as we've told you before here in Ecuador um, you can't always find spices or spice blends that uh, you used back at home so here we have like the Cajun spice recipe. So all of these I can grow or get here locally, and then I can just blend them up and create different um, seasonings that I'm used to uh, back in the States. So all-purpose seasonings and uh, pumpkin spice, super important. Um, you can make the uh, sweet potato pie and add pumpkin spice to it, and it tastes like a pumpkin pie ranch seasoning, um, the dry rub for the barbecue. Uh, I use this one a lot. Uh, really adds to the flavor of the barbecue. So all of those are there. And uh, traditional dishes, when you're not feeling very keto, you can uh, venture out. So these are some of our all-time favorites um, that we can still make here in Ecuador and get a taste of taste of home. Uh, beyond the recipes uh, are the natural remedies. So all the recipes may be a little bit limited because this is uh, my space to go and find uh, the basics of the recipes. But the natural remedies, uh, like the neti pot solution, you can't just run down to the store and get a neti pot solution. So I mix this up. It's basically one part salt, one part baking soda, and put it in a little Tupperware. And then you just take um, probably about a, a half a teaspoon and put it into your neti pot, and it works great. Um, aloe moisturizer, this one works really good. We have aloe plants that grow here. Um, and so we can make them. The anti-inflammatory, definitely easy to make, um, really helps with your achy joints at the end of the day. Uh, 
And so basically that uses uh, infused ginger and it takes 48 hours. A lot of times you can, I put it in a crock pot for 48 hours and cook it on a low heat and uh, it gets a really good infusion. So uh, easy, easy. I use the toothpaste. I, I make my own toothpaste and so this is what we use for toothpaste here. Um, so you can easily make a lot of these. Um, TBD, this is just a placeholder, so ignore that one. I need to add uh, my latest tooth whitening recipe and put that in there. So uh, that's how you navigate. And you can go back over to the recipes, and uh, it'll take you there. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, all the way down, Lisa's favorite recipes, email content providers. So if you want to send um, a recipe to consider putting on the website, please feel free to send it um, and email it to me right here. Please, if you found this good, give us a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.